Tell you there, champs, and today I want to talk about three things. While I'm working on my Mac comparison, comparing all the MacBooks, I want to talk about some interesting things out of the Mac world, some rumors. I want to talk about the supposed gaming Mac. <laughs> Okay, this new pro power mode that's supposedly hidden in the next Mac OS. And I want to talk about the filing for a new Mac computer. Is it the new 13 inch? Is it the new 14 inch? Is it the new just MacBook with ARM? Ooh, who knows? Let's talk about it. Anyway, let's get stuck into the first thing. This is what Ash is going to love. Ash is going to love this thing. What the f*** just happened? <laughs> Apple, I, I, I don't know what's going on, okay? It's called Pro Mode. Basically, it's built into the latest beta version. Apparently, it doesn't work at the moment. And what it's going to do is it's going to override your, you know, your fan curve and just the maximum limit of the fans, it seems. You can see here, apps may run faster, but battery life may decrease and fan noise may increase. Ash is going to just love that for the extra, you know, 0.1 of a second performance gains you get. No, actually... With the Max, we know that if you put the fan on earlier, you can get boosts for longer and stuff like that, and better performance, you know. So with the MacBook Pro 16, for example, if they put the fans on earlier, we can keep higher boost clocks for longer and even sustain maybe higher boost clocks. And as you can see there, it says fan speed limit overridden. So were the fans actually capped to, say, 6,000 or 50 dB? Maybe they can actually go faster, although I don't think going any faster will gain significant increase in performance because I think we've reached the point of diminishing returns with the max at their current maximum fan speed. But this is good. See, they are listening to what pros want. Pros won't care about noise. They just want the performance, okay? So we might be able to wring a bit more performance out of these in pro mode. I mean, I don't have a problem with the 16-inch MacBook Pro. It's fast enough as it is now and maybe if i'm rendering i'll put it in pro mode and i can go out and not hear the fan noise whatever before i get on to the supposed gaming mac apple filed a document to the eurasian economic commission just before christmas and basically it's saying that there's going to be a portable mac portable personal computer brand a2289 now is this the 14 inch macbook pro or the next 13 inch macbook pro or is it a new macbook an ARM-based new MacBook. Well, we don't know. It should have the scissor switch. It should have better thermals if it is the 13 or 14 inch. It should have Ice Lake CPUs if we're going to the 13 or 14 inch, or at least temp generation CPUs because we're stuck on eighth generation. Can you believe it with the 13 inch MacBook Pro? Could it be a new MacBook, an ARM-based MacBook? And could this ARM-based MacBook be running on Mac OS, but an ARM version of it? Now, it would have to run things in emulation, I guess, whichever way it goes, even if it was running x86 mac os it would be running the operating system in you know emulation and all the apps in emulation but if it was an arm based mac os it could run pretty much all the apps that go on ios of course they would need some sort of modification or whatever It'd be interested to see if it is an arm macbook which way is it going to go emulation of the operating system x86 or actually a native mac os that is arm now they already have an arm mac os don't worry about that they've been testing that whether it's any good or not whatever this could be the gaming macbook if it was an arm based mac os and it could run ios apps and basically the arm version of mac os is sort of ios with added features i guess i don't know i'm just throwing things in the air here i have no idea but if it could run ios apps imagine the macbook could be a gaming device Think about it, you can get Fortnite, Call of Duty, you can get PUBG, all the mobile games from Apple Arcade, and you'll be able to play them on this MacBook. Or could they be making a console that's like Apple TV, that actually uses ARM processors and, you know, can run Apple Arcade app or all those other apps like, you know, Fortnite, Call of Duty, etc. Because they do have iOS versions of those. So think about a MacBook running Mac OS that can run iOS games natively. And think about this, like 120 frames per second. Maybe it has a 120 hertz display on this MacBook. Because it's using an ARM processor, it can have battery life like the iPad Pro. It can have a 120 hertz display. It actually could be a great product. But they actually said the gaming Mac supposedly would be an all-in-one or a gaming laptop. Please let me know down there in the comments. Am I missing something? Is it? Apple turning into services now. Can you imagine a Mac gaming MacBook Pro with RGB and stuff like that? Or could you imagine an iMac? I mean, iMacs don't even sell. If you look at Apple, most of Apple's Mac sales are all laptops. So, you know, I don't think anyone's going to be buying an iMac for gaming. And when it comes to a gaming laptop, would you buy a Mac? It seems to be like a niche of a niche market. Maybe it is Apple TV console. I don't know. 
let me know down there in the comments what do you think about this mac gaming thing oh, it just, just doesn't make sense to me but i'm all happy to hear in the comments down there what you think i do believe that apple are going into services now they're a different company they could see you know games as services and stuff like that some sort of revenue stream whether they're using you know the ios games or they could go into the AAA titles i mean what are they going to do run boot camp or have they got developers on board for mac os i don't know ah there's a lot of things that have to be sorted out here although apple have got the money to do it right they could you know pay developers to do stuff and yeah well anyway i'll have a mac comparison very soon maybe tomorrow i'll catch you in the next one guys let me know down in the comments what you think tally ho